What's going on, everybody? Sega Man back here with another pickup video. Uh, got some games um, at my thrift store uh, this week. Now, they really didn't have a whole lot to pick from this time, um, but I picked them up anyways because they were each a dollar seventy-five a piece. But I will tell you this: I found some really cool games you're not gonna believe they're import games I found import games at my thrift store for 75 cents and uh, you're, it's gonna knock your socks off because um, man when I got these I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story here Look, I'm gonna show you the games that I picked up there that were on the cheap and then I'm a, and then the ones that are real cheap I'm gonna tell you about I didn't get really that many game pickups this time and also, um, I'm going to be starting uh, also a new segment here soon on my channel, um, and it's 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 going to be called Sega Man's Reviews. So what I'm going to do is um, probably I might try to do Sega Man's Reviews tomorrow or uh, maybe uh, Sunday, but it's going to be reviews. Of, um, of um, different games that I like, you know what I mean. I just want to switch it up a little bit, you know what I mean. So I think for now on, I'm gonna do a segment uh, once a week called Sega Man's Reviews. And it's gonna be reviews of video games that I have and enjoyment I like. Uh, I like uh, that I play with these certain types of games. So let's get let's get on with what I picked up here at the um, thrift store. So the first one I picked up here, and these are all actually, I'm just going to tell you what they're, they're all Wii games, they're all Wii games, and I found them for $1.25, some are, you know, they're pretty cool, you know what I mean, if you're a game collector like me and you want to add games to your collection, you pick up what you can, you know what I mean, and you try them out. So the first one I got here is called World War II Aces, the Wings series, so this is for the Wii. The Wii. I picked this up for a um, dollar seventy-five. Uh, I'm gonna check this game out. It is complete with everything in it. The disc is in pretty good condition. Some of these Wii games you get when you get the the disc, they might be a little dirty because again it could have been from children or kids owning these games. But you can always whip these games back up into shape with a little bit of water spray and a light, and then take your you know a, light, a nice like. 3M cloth like this and um, gently wipe <clears throat> the disc down and it should it should come clean you know what I mean it should work out for you pretty good now the next one I got here for a dollar 75 is um, monsters 4x4 uh, world circuit so I picked that up for a dollar 75 uh, at my local thrift store that also is complete The next one I hear I picked up, actually I think this might be a pretty cool game guy for the Wii. It's called uh, Shrek's Carnival Crazy Party Games. So I picked this up. Looks like it might be fun. Some of these party games guys, believe it or not, they're fun. Especially if you have kids or you have nieces and nephews. It's good to play these games with them. You know what I mean? They just, they'll have loads of fun. And this was also complete. So that was a buck seventy-five. Now this next Wii game, I didn't even know they had a game, to tell you the truth. But I had to pick it up, man. I just had to pick it up. It's a it's just a I never thought they would have a game. It is called um it is by Build a Bear Workshop. It is a friend uh for all uh season. And it says friend friendship on it. And I think it's a, a build a bear game. You know what I mean? Uh well my my daughter was a, a younger. We actually went and got her a build a bear, and I recorded a voice in there saying "We love you" in there in her name. But I found this for a buck seventy five, and I, I didn't even know they had a build a bear game. You know what I mean? It, it looks pretty, pretty neat. You know what I mean? Um, four people can play. I think it's just kind of like a party games that you could play with your with your children. You know what I mean? Now this one isn't complete, but the disc. Um, 
is in flawless condition. So I had to pick it up. I didn't even know they had it, a Build-A-Bear a build -a -bear game. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. Now the next one here is called, um, I might have showed this other one, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. But this one here is called um, <clears throat> Party Games 3, 19, uh, 19 Hits Games. And it's another party party games for the Wii. That also is not complete, but it has the game in there. The disc is in pretty good condition. Warner Brother Games. So it has stuff I like on it, like it has a ski ball on it, pool, you know what I mean, hoops, and, and you know, different types of games like that. So, you know, that was a dollar seventy-five. Another cool one they had. Now it says three seventy-five on it, but um, she's saying the guy's messing up there, you know, that he's charging too high for him. Three seventy-five still ain't bad. She gave it to me still for a dollar seventy-five, and it is a Hasbro game night three, which has Mousetrap, Yahtzee, Clue, Twister, um, the Game of Life, different, you know, types of games on there, and that is complete, and it, and it is in very good condition. So that's another one I picked up. As Mr. Potato Head and I on the back, you remember if you were younger, old school, you know what I mean? I think I showed you guys this game. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment sections below if I showed you guys this game. I don't remember showing you guys this game. But it is, um, I might have showed you guys. It is Goosebumps uh, Horror Land. I, I think I should, I'm not sure. She charged me $1.75 for it. It says $4.75. But this game is also complete. This game looks like it might be pretty cool. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Looks like a... You know, like a... It's a multiplayer, you know. Shoot. I think it's like sports story. short shoot, Shooter game, kind of, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have to check this out. I'm going to try to check this out this weekend. But um, it looked like it might be pretty good. You know what I mean? So that's another another game to add to the Wii collection. Now that's all I have for the, the Wii stuff. But you're not going to believe, believe these ones I picked up. Okay? I got three of them. They're 75 cents. I'm going to tell you a little story about it. <clears throat> the first one I'm going to show you. This is actually... Um, an import PlayStation 1 game and they 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 had them priced for 75 cents and it is Samurai Showdown 5 Special, I believe. So I picked this up for 75 cents, okay? I took it home thinking it is complete, is it, it is in flawless condition. Flawless condition. <clears throat> so, look at that. Flawless. I hooked it up to my PlayStation 1. I tried it out and it didn't work. So what I did is what I seen on YouTube. I stuck something in that spring thing. Okay. And then if, listen closely, if you have a Game Shark, put the Game Shark in the PlayStation. All right. Let me see if I could tell you guys this right. Choose the choose the game, if I remember correctly. All right. Uh, with no codes or whatever, make sure you choose the game. And then, you push the button. It'll say, "Start with codes or without codes." You just say no. Then it'll tell you to insert the game. And when you insert the game, it'll play. It actually played. I was I was just shocked you know what i mean but you have to leave that lid open on the playstation one it has to stay open and you have to have a spring or something stuck in that button in the back of the playstation one but it works that way because i don't have a import japanese playstation one or you can get an action replay card you know but it works and i'm gonna tell you what man it is pretty awesome. It is it is an awesome 
uh, PlayStation uh, version of Samurai Showdown 5 Special. And I heard this is actually on the Sega Saturn, too. You know what I mean? I might try to get that. You know what I mean? But for 75 cents, guys, that was the deal of the day. And I, I tried it out, and it is good. I played it for a while. I mean, it is awesome. But that's the only way I can play it. Now, this next game <clears throat> is also a Japanese import. It is Cool Borders Killing Sessions, I think. But this is it right here. 75 cents. Now, what I did... I did the same thing. Put the spring in, tried the, sh the shark, but it didn't work. This one didn't work for some reason. It wouldn't wouldn't load up for me. I wasn't bummed out about it. I'm going to try to figure something out. I'm thinking if I put a Cool Borders 2 in the American version, right? Take it out. Then, then put codes or without codes, right? And then put this one in. See what happens. It might work. I don't know. I'm not really into doing like hijacking the systems and stuff like that, but <clears throat> I wanted to see if the games worked. And like I said, that Samurai Showdown game did work. Now the last one I got here is it is a Japanese import, I believe. And it did work. And it is a thicker case. It is Crash Bandicoot. Um, right there, that was also 75 cents. And it's in flawless condition. You know what I mean? With the book, they make their cases bigger. I don't know why it's bigger. I guess that's just the way they make it. And it is complete. And it actually did work with the, with the Game Shark. It actually did work. So, <clears throat> my best buy out of all those was this. Because I've seen this for super high price on um, Amazon. And I don't know what it was doing in that store, but I was looking through the CDs, looking for music CDs, and I stumbled upon these. So I snatched them up real quick. I didn't even care if they didn't work or not. I wanted to add them to my game collection. And I'm going to tell you what, this is pretty goddamn good. You know what I mean? Um, on there. I would love to have the Saturn version of that game. But um, that was my pickups this week, guys. So I hope you guys are going to are gonna enjoy your weekend. Um, what have you guys picked up this week? Let me know in the comment sections below. Or uh, let me know what you guys are playing uh, this weekend. You know, I'm big thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. You know I subscribe back to you if you subscribe to me. And, um, yeah, let me know what you got or what you're playing this weekend, you know. Um, be interested to know what's going on with that. And like I said, I'm going to be starting that segment called Sega Man's Reviews. And I hope you guys are going to like it. Um, it's going to, I'm just, I might start it tomorrow, like I said, or Sunday. You know, you'll know if I put the video up. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Uh, uh, give a shout out to all my subscribers you guys rock you know i really appreciate you guys watching my videos and giving me comments asking me to do certain things like you might want to see my you know like uh my one youtuber bro asked me about the sega saturn games uh people ask me to do other things with gamings and i'm gonna do that you know what i mean just give me time i you know i work and everything but i'm gonna do that guys but take care and happy gaming guys all right sega man out Peace, Xbox for life, and I'll see you in the next video.